Hello friends, Cole here. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wanted to serve up a spicy full body power flow today. So we're gonna get into lots of different spaces and it is gonna be pretty heated. But you are in control of this as well. So listen to your body. Everything that I'm giving you are suggestions. So if you want to come back into child's pose or mountain pose or any stillness, please listen to your body. That is a big part of the practice. Other than that, we're gonna stay close to our breath and watch your thoughts as things get a little edgy. So watch the self-talk, things like this. We can learn so much on these four corners, not just about our bodies, but about our internal landscape as well. So let's proceed, shall we? Let's start at the top of our mat. Feet hips distance apart, and that's about two fists. So sometimes I'll even put my hands here. Sometimes we think our hips are really wide and we spread our feet really wide, but actually, it's gonna be underneath our hip points. Close your eyes down, and we'll walk through, not walk through, but we'll speak you through mountain pose. This is a very powerful pose, mountain pose or tadasana, it's called. And notice the difference between standing and then actively press down through the feet, like as if you were rooting, sending roots down through the feet. You can even externally rotate, like press out your heels just a little bit. That'll internally rotate the legs. So see what that feels like. You can even look down and send the heels out just slightly. And lift the head back up. Lift the kneecaps up and then pull the belly in towards the spine. Roll the shoulders back so the heart center gets broader, so you have more space between shoulder and shoulder. Palms are facing forward. Let's take the hands to heart center here. Actively press hand into hand. And just for a moment, briefly touch in on an intention or a sankalpa is another name for that, sankalpa, and intention. So maybe it is something sweet and simple and staying present, enjoying the flow. Or maybe you have something, something that runs a little bit deeper, but this is a good place to, a good place to infuse your practice with it. And we'll begin to move our bodies. Inhale, the arms come up, the gaze comes up. And exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. So you can fold forward with the hands wide or the hands together, either way. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins. You can actively press the hands into the shins as the shins press back into the hands. Shoulders are away from the ear, so the back of the neck is long. And exhale, fold forward, twice more like this. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Once more, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Bend in the knees, press down so much that the torso rolls up to stand. And inhale, lift the arms up, gaze follows. Grab the left wrist. The left foot steps off the right side of the mat and we lean towards the right. Lift the heart, open the heart. Maybe find some buoyancy, some bounce in the knees and the elbows. One more inhale here. And exhale, bend the knees, curtsy pose. Bring the heart forward and down like you're taking a bow. Inhale, gather up the energy. So we'll kind of swoop the arms down. Swoop the arms down, left foot meets the right, arms come up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's try this on the other side. Inhale, lift the arms up, grab the right wrist, step off the left side of the mat as you reach over, gazes up. Find some buoyancy. One more inhale. And exhale, curtsy pose, take a bow. Dun, 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 dun. And inhale, swoop the hands down, gather the energy, right foot meets the left, gazes up. And exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, 
and exhale. Plant the hands, step back with the right foot. So all the way back to the back of the mat, plant the back knee down. One inhale, lift up and exhale. Plant the hands, step back, plank pose. So we wanna stay here for a moment. Send the heels back, the crown of the head forward, belly to the spine. We start to begin to build a little bit of heat here. One more inhale. And exhale, knees, chest, and chin come down to the ground, Ashtangasana. Untuck the toes, slide the heart forward, shoulders roll back, low cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. So that is always an option to take that style, Ashtangasana. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhale, step in between the thumbs. Plant the back knee down, one breath. Inhale, lift. And exhale, plant the hands, step forward as you fold. Inhale, lift all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Do the other side. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back with the left foot. Plant the back knee down. One breath, we lift up. And exhale, plant the hands. Step back, plank pose. So option here, we can take chaturanga. You can take it with the knees up or the knees down, but we shift the heart forward and come halfway down, yeah? So we're not like this, we wanna roll the shoulders back, halfway down, and then untuck the toes, high or low, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, step in between the thumbs, plant the back knee down, one breath. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, plant the hands, step forward as you fold. Bend in the knees, we rise all the way up to stand. And exhale, hands to heart center. We'll mix some things together now. Inhale, lift the arms up, grab the left wrist. Step off the right side of the mat as you lean over towards the side. Find a little bit of movement, a little bit of buoyancy. One more inhale and exhale, pour forward curtsy pose. Listen up, this time one leg mountain. Inhale, gather the energy. The left knee is going to come up. That's a kind of a tricky transition. And exhale, stay here. We're gonna move with breath. Inhale here. Exhale, airplane. So wave the energy back, heart comes forward and inhale, lift. So the standing leg stays a little bit of bent. That's kind of your hinge. Exhale, wave it back. And inhale, come up. So let that be the lever, the hinge. Exhale. And inhale, listen up. Right hand to the outside of the left knee, we twist open. There's an option. See, you have to lose your balance to find it. So whenever you come out, just come back in. We're gonna twist open to the left. You have an option to grab for the foot. Wherever you are, we're gonna release and slowly step back into warrior two. So the torso is already twisted, yeah? So either release the foot or the knee and step back into warrior two. Maybe it's graceful, maybe it's not, totally fine. Warrior two, beautiful. Arms reach out. Extended side angle. I brought the block here to show you a different way to use the block. You can bring it on the inside or the outside of the foot. But maybe the hand comes down to the block. Left arm swoops up and over, spiral the heart open. And then notice here, the tendency is we wanna put all the weight into the right foot and the right hand, but shift the weight back into the left foot. This might bring you up a little bit higher and that's fine. You can think about sending the tailbone down towards the back heel, that can help as well. Roll the shoulder out. 
like you're opening a jar to the right with your right hand. Open it up. One more big inhale. And exhale, spiral the heart down, left hand plants. So both hands are on the inside of the foot. You can move the right foot out towards the side a little bit. Just a couple rounds of breath here in lizard pose. Move forward and back, side to side. And then we're gonna turn all 10 toes towards the right. So we're gonna to begin to move. Weight is on the left hand. This front foot can wiggle back just a little bit. So side plank variation here. Press down to lift up. So that downward energy creates upward energy. One inhale here. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, push and lift. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, push and lift. And exhale, sink the hips. This time, inhale, push and lift. Plant the right hand down. Tripod down dog. Right leg comes all the way back and up here. Yeah. Exhale, knee to nose. And inhale all the way back and up. And exhale, knee to nose, fallen triangle. The right leg comes out to the right side. We put the weight into the right hand as the back heel comes down, open up. One big inhale. And exhale, spiral the heart down. Once more, tripod down dog, reach up and back. And exhale, step through in between the thumbs. Crescent lunge, lift all the way up. Look down at the feet. You don't want them to be in train tracks. You want them to be separated just a little bit. You'll have more balance this way. One big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna twist towards the right. Lift the elbows up and over and hook the elbow on the thigh, the outside of the knee. Tailbone's reaching in one direction. Crown of the head is reaching in the other. Lean back into the shoulder slightly. And we're gonna take a big step up into twisted chair pose. So the torso is already twisted. You can gaze down at the right foot as you step the left foot up. Chair pose. Again, crown of the head, tailbone reaching in opposite directions. One more inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Let that feel good. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's wave the spine up and down a couple times. So just move with your breath. Once more in. And sigh out. Beautiful. Bend the knees, press down into the feet to lift all the way up. Arms come up. And exhale, hands. To heart center. Let's recenter one in. And sigh out. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the arms up. This time, catch the right wrist. Take the right foot off the side of the mat as you lean over towards the left here. And find some buoyancy in the legs, in the elbows. One more inhale here, and exhale, curtsy pose, bow forward. Gather the energy up, inhale, knee comes up into the chest here. So it's kind of a tricky transition, and the balance will come later on. But the shakiness, you know, that's where we're learning. That's the edge of the comfort zone there. And we'll begin to move with breath. So let the standing leg bend the knee. We're gonna let it be the hinge. Exhale, airplane. So you don't even have to come all the way down, but just practice moving with breath. Inhale and exhale. So maybe it looks more like this, and that's fine. Inhale and exhale. Takes a little practice standing on one leg as you move. And inhale, this time we're gonna to twist towards the right. Exhale 
towards the right. You can take the left hand to the outside of the knee. These two things are gonna press into one another. That'll give you more stability. It's called proprioception where the body is in space. So press the hand into the knee, the knee back into the hand. And maybe you grab for the foot. Wherever you are, we're gonna move into warrior two. So the torso is already twisted. You'll release the leg or the foot and take a step back into warrior two. So give yourself a moment here, pressing evenly through both feet because we're gonna move into to extended side angle. So we want a really good base in warrior two first. Pressing evenly through both feet then maybe you have a block, maybe you don't, either way. We're gonna shift the torso forward. Left elbow can come down to the knee or the right hand, or left hand can come down to the block. If you're on the inside, the arm is pressing into the leg, the leg is pressing back to the arm. It's that equal opposition, that proprioception that we just talked about. And then reach the right arm up and over. Send a lot of energy down into the back foot and maybe bend a little bit more into the left leg. Pull back on the left hip crease and roll the shoulders away from the ears. Lots of little intricacies here. So maybe you just take one of those cues. And the next time you can take another one. One more inhale. Exhale, gazes down, heart spirals down, right hand plants, both hands on the inside. Make some moves front and back, side to side. And then we're gonna move into this side plank variation. All 10 toes turn towards the left. Maybe this front foot steps back a little bit. Press down to lift the hips up. So feel really nice on the outside of the left hip. Left arm comes up and we move with breath. Exhale, sink the hips. Gaze follows the hand. Inhale, push and lift. Ooh, that feels nice, exhale. The good hurt. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. This time we plant the hands. Turn the toes forward. Take a big step back. Tripod down dog. Exhale. Knee to nose. Press the ground away. Engage the belly. And inhale up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. This time, fall in triangle. So plant the back heel down as the right, the left foot shoots out. Press down to lift up. One more inhale. And exhale, plant the right hand down. Knee comes back into the chest. Tripod down dog, one more breath. And exhale, big step through in between the thumbs. Gazes forward, you can take a look at your feet to make sure they're on train tracks. Press down to lift up. You can bend the back knee a little bit. It really helped to set the pelvis square. Belly to the spine. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, elbows move up and over and then hook the elbow on the outside of the knee. So again, there's that proprioception point. Press one into the other. If you're wobbling, just invite that in. Play on that edge. Gaze is down. We're gonna take a big step forward. The right foot meets the left into twisted chair. Woo! Recenter. Bend the knees down. Lean back into the shoulders. Trust yourself. One more inhale and exhale. Ah, lavish full forward fold. <sighs> inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Once more, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Crow pose option here. Plant the hands. And listen, for crow pose, you never have to lift your feet up off the ground. So everybody can do this to an extent. I'll show you a couple different places that you can um, jump off the path or places where you can stay. Plant the hands down, bend the knees, bend the elbows, send 
knees up into the triceps. The heart, the gaze looks forward. Maybe all you do is shift the weight and get used to putting the weight into the hands. This is a beautiful place to be. Round the back, pull the belly to the spine. Maybe you lift one foot, maybe you lift both. Crow pose. One more inhale, wherever you are. Exhale, plant the toes, plant the heels, plant the booty. We roll onto the booty. Navasana, one of my not favorites, but I'm trying to do it more. Roll the shoulders back, bring the heart center forward. The hands can be behind the thighs. They can be on the ground or they can be up. Hmm. Let the shaking happen and still breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the knees to the chest, roll down onto the back. Grab a block, or actually you don't really need a block, but you can do it with a block as well. And we're going to take the right hand to the left knee. So we're really gonna get to do a little bit of a core work here. You can also do it like with the block, but either way. The left hand can go behind the head, the right hand comes to the left knee. So we're kind of crossing here. You're gonna actively press the knee into the hand, the hand back into the knee very quickly. You should feel this shaking. Right leg is up into the ground. I mean, up off the ground. Whew. And release. So this is an isometric action. This is when you're pressing two things into one another. The same, same concept as what I'm talking about, this equal opposition. Same thing, let's do it on the other side. So right hand behind the head, extend the left leg long, slightly up off the ground if you can. Left hand into the right knee, press one into another as if they're having a war with each other. They're having like a pushing war. Press, press, press. Bring the low belly back down onto the back so that it's not curved up. Try to round. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Rock and roll up and down the mat. Maybe we can pop up into chair pose. You can try, maybe you can do it without the hands. Let's see if I can. And then we're gonna roll up, reach forward, chair pose. Beautiful. Sink the hips a little bit lower. And exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, we're gonna take chair twist over towards the right. So the left arm hooks, and there's that isometric action, the equal opposition, press the outside of the tricep into the outside of the knee. Now listen up. This is another tricky transition. We're gonna gaze down. The right hand is going to plant on the ground or on a block, and we're gonna open up into Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. So the gaze is down, the right hand plants. Put the weight into the right foot. We open up. Got lots of pops there. Half moon pose. Shoulders away from the ears. Pull the belly into the spine. So we want this to be strong. We don't want to just find a balance point and try to be still. We want the whole thing to be engaged. We're going to step back into warrior two. So bend the standing leg. Left toes reach back, 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 back. Come up into warrior two. Beautiful. Straighten the front leg. Send the hips back and reach forward. Triangle pose, trikonasana. You can take the hand to a block. You can take it to the foot, the shin, or a floor. Be sure that you don't lock out the front knee. And send the tailbone back towards the back heel. You can have the hand up. I prefer to have my hand towards the top of the room because it gets more into my low back area. One more big inhale here. And exhale, gaze down, and then let the heart follow. Plant the left hand, listen up. So we did the Vashistasana variation where we turn the toes. You can do that again. Or you can take a full Vashistasana with its side plank. The right foot on top of the left. And again, the arm can come up or it can go towards the top of the room. 
Roll, spiral the heart open just slightly. One more inhale. And exhale, plant the hand. We stay in plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. Knees can be up or down or the ashtangasana. Inhale, high or low cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Mm. One big inhale. Sigh out. Gaze forward. Take a jump or a couple steps to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. We do come to the other side. Bend the knees and the hips back as you inhale, chair pose. And here we are. Exhale here. Inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, elbows up and over, twist towards the left, hook the tricep to the knee, and the knee presses back into the tricep. Hips sink down a little bit lower. Let yourself be okay with a little bit of uncomfortability. And then begin to gaze down. The left hand is gonna be prepared to go to a block or to the floor, and we're gonna open up into Vashistasana. I mean, sorry, into half moon. So put the weight into the left foot, and then place the left hand down. We begin to twist open. The right leg comes back. This is a tricky transition. I'm trying to make you shake here. I'm shaking. Press evenly through both feet, even though one of them's up into the air. Still like you're actively, like you're sending laser beams at the bottom of that heel. One more inhale. Exhale, warrior two, so bend the standing leg. Slowly, maybe gracefully, maybe not, step that right foot back. Warrior two. This is a big practice for me to really be breathing because I'm talking at the same time as well. So really good practice for remaining steady. Straighten the front leg. We're preparing for trikonasana, so maybe a slight bend in the knee. Send the booty back. Hips are going to the right. Torso reaches towards the left. Have lots of space between the ribs and the hips on both sides. And then exhale, hands comes to a block, the ground, or the shin. Right hand can come up towards the sky or towards the top of the mat. Lean back a little bit. Spiral the torso open. Find space. Hmm. One more inhale. And exhale, gazes down, heart spirals down, right hand plants. Either all 10 toes spin to the side in the side plank variation, or the left foot comes on top of the right foot. Side plank, Vashistasana. Same thing here, so many cues are repeated. Press down to lift up, spiral the heart open, make space between shoulder to shoulder. One more inhale. Exhale, plank pose, stay here, one round of breath, in. And exhale, chaturanga, knees up or knees down. Upward facing dog or cobra, any variation. And exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, pigeon pose. So bring the leg up front. We'll just have a few rounds of breath on each side here. Press the shin down into the ground. This is going to lift the hips up slightly and square them. That's what we're looking for. So pressing down, it might lift the hips, but you can also then tilt them. You can stay right here letting gravity do its thing. It'll do its thing. Or you can lean forward. It can be really nice to take a block underneath the head. I like to flip the palms up, especially in pigeon pose because it's challenging for me. So flipping the palms up is a pose of surrender, like, oh, I'm trying. 
be easy on me. Maybe that's what I'm saying here. But just kind of allowing what to be to be. My right hip may be forever tight. And I joke sometimes that, you know, on my right side, I get to practice compassion for my tight right hip. And my left side, I get to practice joy because it's quite open. Let's just take one more breath. Sigh out. And then plant the hands. Downward facing dog. Take any movements that you need and then we'll switch sides. So whenever you're ready, bringing the left foot forward, left knee toward the left hand. Press the shin down into the ground, square the hip. And really notice what's different on this side. Mine is like coming out of a different body. Like it feels what it feels like. So even if it's more nuanced for you, it's that we get to know ourselves in these subtle ways, know our body in subtle ways that we begin to use that same explorative um, mind to get to know personalities, our emotions. So lots of things that we get to practice on our mat that we'll get to take off the mat. A couple rounds of breath here. Maybe forehead to block. Mm, slowly coming up. Let's time let's swing that back leg around. And let's take Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide. You butterfly the legs. Turn the head. Any last things you'd like. And we come into a seat. Close your eyes down. And just three rounds of breath together. Create space between the ribs and the hips, and we're gonna fill that with breath. Hands can come together at heart center. They can come over the heart. Maybe one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. And come back into your intention, back to that sankalpa. Three rounds of breath. Fill up. <sighs> fill up. Release. Drink in and let go of something you don't need. One more for good measure. Bring your hands together, thumbs at the third eye, and let's seal our practice together. As we bow forward and we say namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope that this gave you a little bit of heat and a little bit of challenge. It's so good to explore at the edges. And um, it's, it's really nice to have this feel-good practice as well. And we get used to this, you know, this, this yumminess and this sweetness. But then it can also be, yeah, really nice to kind of tiptoe around the edge of our comfort zone and to see where we can expand. But thank you so much for joining me. Really happy to be with you here from Yoga TX. Please subscribe to get our videos and feel free to comment as well. Let us know what you think. And if you wanna learn more about me, coldchanceyoga.com. And I will see you next time on your mat. Until then, be well.